fire. Welcome to another review at Failed EXE. Today I'm reviewing the Jawbone Jambox. It's sleek, compact, and some might say sexy. And when it comes to the Jawbone Jambox's sound, its sound is... Well, let's just say that it's not so great. For the review, I have it streaming via Bluetooth from my iPad 2. And although the Jawbone website states that its range is roughly 33 feet, just a foot away, it struggles to maintain connectivity. Placing it directly next to the iPad 2, of course, returns it to normal. But just 18 feet away, again, we see the same results as before, even with a direct line of sight. Now from what I heard from a friend, and when I read other reviews online, they said the sound was superb and great, and that the bass was desk shaking. The only way I was able to achieve this desk shaking was with the Jawbone Jambox laying on its back. And while this isn't a recommended listening position, it actually does sound a bit better this way. However, this could just be attributed to the acoustics in my office. Connecting the Jambox to my Mac Pro via Bluetooth resulted in subpar performance. The sound comes out muddled and the speakers sound cheap and paper-like. I set the volume on the Mac Pro to maximum as well as on the Jambox, but I didn't find out until after this review that you're supposed to hold down both the volume up and volume down button simultaneously to enable or disable live audio, which should help correct the problem. Comparing the Jawbone Jambox to the iPad 2 speaker, or built-in speakers in your Apple Cinema display, the Jawbone does offer a substantial improvement in mids and bass response. However, overall volume is just not what I would expect from speakers that cost $200. The iPad 2 built-in speaker is nothing to write home about, we all know that. However, if you are considering buying the Jambox to pair with your iPad, iPod, or Android device, there are much better options available in the $200 price range. People that are ranting and raving about the quality of audio from the speaker must also be enjoying their Snuggie and Justin Bieber Christmas wrapping paper. Until next time folks, this is David from VailDXE. Yeah.